unilateral and joint wills and succession agreements are considered dispositions of property upon death by the regulation. The formal requirements of such dispositions are to be determined in accordance with Article 27 of the regulation and, in some cases, in accordance with the Hague Convention on the Form of Testamentary Dispositions of 1961. Generally, the form prescribed in the state where the disposition is made will suffice, but it is also sufficient to meet the form requirements of the state of the habitual residence, domicile or nationality of the deceased instead. Admissibility and substantive validity of a will or testament have to be determined on the basis of the law of succession that would have been applicable if the testator had died at the moment the disposition was made. This is the law of the habitual residence of the testator at that time, or where a choice of law of the nationality is made, the law of the testator's nationality at that time. According to Article 83 of the regulation, wills and succession agreements drawn up before the entry into force of the regulation on 17th August 2015 are formally and substantively valid where they are in accordance with the then applicable law or where they are in accordance with the law applicable under the regulation. The will, as the document containing the testamentary disposition with the choice of applicable law, must be valid and effective. A will to be valid shall be, have been fulfilled with all formalities required by the applicable law. In the first case, we have an Austrian citizen which is habitually resident in Italy. He draws up a will under the Italian law. He died in Italy without ever having changed the habitual residence. It will apply Italian law to identify the requirements for validity of the will as well as it will apply the Italian law to locate the regularization process of the will. In the second case, a French citizen, which is habitually resident in Germany, draws up a will by which choose, as the law applicable to his succession, the French one. The will has the requirements established by French law, but not by German law. In this case, the will is valid and fully usable. In the third case, imagine that the same man moved to Spain and the will he drew up has all the requirements established by German law, but not by French law nor by the Spanish law. The will, even in this case, is valid and fully usable.